time dances fading fast moments blend as shadows cast and beneath the winter sky one more year gone by i just have one question for you when you open your diary on 1st january to review your goals will you be proud of yourself or not just turn off the video if your answer is yes this one's not for you for the rest of you what's up winter is here the coldest darkest season i've always felt that winter carries a mysterious power the world gets quiet and the days get shorter we retreat indoors not just to escape the cold but almost as if we are hiding from something perhaps ourselves but what if these final 75 days aren't meant for hiding at all what if this season when we often give in to the laziness and hibernation is actually the most important time to show up we associate winter with slowing down lazy mornings cozy nights if you are in india winter is the season of festivals Navratri then Diwali then Christmas then New Year's we start acting as if the year has ended in October itself we postpone ourselves our plans our goals our dreams to the next year but here's the thing we still have 75 days left for the year to end and this can actually be a big opportunity to build up the momentum before we actually have to step into the new year i'll tell you what the problem is we are not able to accelerate towards our goals because we start and stop and start and stop for example let's say that you want to start working out or you want to start going to the gym we all know that starting any new habit is the most difficult part because it takes a lot of effort from your end to push over that initial inertia and finally you get into the zone you go for a few days 5 10 15 but then something happens maybe um a distraction maybe you are burnt out maybe you are busy like whatever it is and you stop that habit now it is again going to require so much effort from your end to start that habit all over again have you ever seen a car going at a really high speed which is doing this no right that is the logic behind this whole thing if you actually have to gain speed gain momentum in something you cannot be starting and stopping constantly you are not able to see progress because you are not giving yourself enough time to actually accelerate before you are just giving up and the thing is it's fine this is actually how human beings function we cannot be perfect all the time in all reality this is going to be the trajectory that you will follow as well now if you start this at new years and fail the motivation will go zoop because we have a lot of expectations from new years we feel that the way the year has started is how it is going to go so when you fail in the first 5 10 15 days it is way more difficult to rise up from that what if you start 2 months 75 days before new years and by the time new years roll in you have failures out of the way and now you're accelerating towards your goals this does not mean that you will not fail after that but you have already experienced multiple failures up till this point and you have also experienced getting out of that failure so you have that confidence that even if you fail you will be able to get out of it and that is the importance and value of these 75 days for the longest time i was someone who was really against these challenges 75 hard 75 soft project 50 rice 66 summer rock winter rock few Are you really disciplined if you have to rely on something external to do what needs to be done? The day before the challenge starts, you are lazing around and as soon as the challenge starts, you are suddenly doing everything that needs to be done. So what happens after the challenge ends? In most cases, people just go back to their old habits. To make this lifestyle sustainable, it has to come from within. No challenge in the world will work for you if you don't have a strong enough why. As my boy Nisha said, he who has a why to live can bear almost any how. But over time, I've come to realize the importance of these challenges. You see, we are in an epidemic, an epidemic of brain fog. We are not able to see clearly or think clearly because we are not giving our brain the space and support it needs to make plans for us. 
we are smothering it with distractions and bombarding it with information it does not need these challenges are a means to give you the space to actually think think about your life think about your why so now is the time the next 75 days are crucial put your head down put in the work get things done disappear if you have to nothing changes if nothing changes and now is the time for change